Force Special Operations. With a well-suited title, these career fields are special. You can't just jump in. Qualifications must be met before one can save lives in blue. And some hopeful recruits start from scratch. My first pass test, I, I wanted to quit so bad I couldn't believe what I was getting myself into. Over the last two months, 25-year-old care rescue candidate Lorenzo Ross began changing the fate of his athleticism. I felt like I was just on a hamster wheel before Sergeant Vickers introduced me to pararescue. I hopped off that hamster wheel and I, I started training every day. I changed my diet and I swim every day. Swimming is one of many qualifying factors for the job. I don't know what I would do if I didn't have this resource available to me uh, to get proficient in the water. His resource? Pat Meadows, holder of multiple Red Cross certifications in the field of aquatics. And that was actually extremely fast. And 45 years teaching experience. For the last two, she's helped train special ops recruits at her local YMCA to become life-saving swimmers. Sprint the last two. So this is why I do what they do. I see improvement. I see our country being safer because the young people here today that I get are the future of our country. If I don't help them with their skills, how can they protect me as well as they can? I see a need. She fulfills that need with no expectations. No, she's 100% volunteer, 100% volunteer. She's not on payroll. I don't pay her. And with her good heart and, and just the fact that she loves what we do in the Air Force, it made it easier for her to commit. The fail rate for special ops recruits became less likely once they left Pat's training to start their careers. As a result, Pat was selected for the Air Force's 2013 Recruiting Salutes Award. Me and a lot of the folks here at the Y were almost in tears because I didn't realize I was doing anything special. I was doing what I have a heart to do. It's making swimming easier for people. Recruiting in the Richmond area has shown significant improvement. There's not enough words to say how thankful I am for everything she has done to support you know, this mission, support me with my job, because without her, I would not have been able to do this at all. Lorenzo has now tested to qualify for pararescue twice, and he hasn't passed but he's shown significant improvement. Do I think about not making it? I mean, who doesn't? And I think that is like the, the fuel behind this train. Like, I don't want to quit. I'm, I don't want to fail. But when I get these kids and they want to do it really badly, they go out of here and they failed the test. They're in tears. But if you can put an arm around them and let them know that this is fixable and then invest the time in them, then they turn around and they're one of our top swimmers. They're lifesavers. A life has been saved and our country's better protected. And that's the bottom line with any of this. From Richmond, Virginia's YMCA. I will be a pararescue man uh, when it's all said and done. I'm senior airman Jamie Jaggers.